Hey, this is uh, going to be a short little update on the Gear Rev Kinematics uh, Delta printer that I ordered 13 days ago. It was only uh, $126. Had linear uh, rails. And by a short update, I, well, we'll just get into it here. Basically, from what I can tell online, the Gear Rev Kinematics Delta printer came out probably in 2017 so I'm thinking the seller that's selling off all these ones on eBay at a very low price um, he has a buy it now price and then you can make an offer and I made an offer and that's how you how you can get it for a hundred and twenty six bucks though first this one the one that arrived that I bought it was missing the control board and it's also missing uh, little plastic pieces that hold the display on in place but everything else was there so I contacted him and within in less than two hours uh, I got a reply saying he'd be sending me out another printer so once it arrives if it arrives I'll then do a review of the printer but I've no reason to believe that it uh, won't be every bit as good as the Fulson sitting back here under that plastic bag because they're almost identical the main difference I can see of course this has does have linear rails and they're uh, 450 millimeters long so they're long rails if you wanted to use them for something else at the price that I paid for this those three rails would cost you that much probably alone right there um, heated bed with a glass top what else there's not too many other things that are really um, different about it all of the instructions for building and aligning can only be found online as far as I can tell and I'll put a link to it and I have before in my other one but basically it's uh, if this will focus in just your gearrev.com once you're there then you can go to the support section once you're in the support section you can select the manual to build it they have the software for Windows over that you have the drivers even have some profiles um, 3D printable upgrades, people that have put things on Thingiverse and other places that can be used with it. So that's pretty cool actually. And in the manual there are, um, it's a PDF file of course. There are a few things that I noticed that aren't quite right. So let's see here. Let's... Oh, a couple of nice things is it does come with the tools on the uh, hex drive keys there they are the the ball in which makes assembling this thing a whole lot easier than the Fulson ever was all of the hardware come in bags and all the bags are uh, marked so you know what's in the bags so these are all pluses this part pretty much all goes together the same as a Fulson did this is about how far I got when I noticed they wanted me to mount the control board in and uh, wasn't any control board I went, oh so like I say, that's when I got back up there and emailed them. Um, it does come with an SD card, which is empty. The, what else? I had a whole list of things here I was going to tell you guys about. I think I've talked about a lot of it. There's two places, well, three places. Here, let's, let's move forward on these build instructions. When they start assembling the hot end... When you start getting to this, they get some of the, the initial pictures wrong when they're having you put the cartridge into the uh, hot end itself. If you actually follow the way they tell you to do it, once you get ready to put it inside the plastic thing, you'll find that you're going to have to take it apart, pull the hot end and thermosistor out and put them in the opposite way in order to make everything fit. Minor minor problem not a big deal to step back and reverse it um, when you go to put in let's go right to the machine when you go to screw these blocks right here onto the linear slides the screws that they give you I believe if I remember right were uh, 12 millimeter long and it's just just a smidgen too long you tighten them all the way up and they bottom out in the in the block but there's still a little gap between the plastic piece and the block. So you really need a 10 millimeter long 
so you might want to come up some extra tens or you're going to need little teeny washers to put around the, the bolts to uh, take up just just a millimeter or so of space so you can get those on tight and the other place that the screws were the wrong length is this screw that goes in here into the carbon fiber rod and then they have a spacer and then it goes into the plastic bracket that we were just talking about mounting onto the slide the screw will bottom out on the plastic before all of this is taken up tight and they they even make a note in the instructions online that that you don't want any slop there that needs to be up tight because if there's slop is going to affect your print quality of course so again you're either going to need to come up with a shorter screw or because this is just a plastic block I just went ahead and and drilled them because again we're only talking about a millimeter or so and there's nothing that's going to interfere with because it's just where the belts come in and tuck in and they still come and tuck in just fine the bolts don't come through that far so those were the only two real modifications I had to make I'll have to do in the effector arm part this they call this plastic piece the belt tensioner and uh, the bolts that hold it on are a bit too long and here are the bolts that hold these on hardware it's not really bolts are a bit too long so far pretty easy fixes everything else has gone together just fine um, I don't know if you've ever guys have ever done one of the Fulsons for example but the way that they do the auto level is the whole hot end is hinged there's a, a bolt back here so this whole hot end PC moves and when it moves it lifts up the switch so when it goes around and does its probing of the bed it basically is detecting when the hot end itself has touched the bed and all those probe places and then you really need to um, get onto this website and you would need to go and actually get actually get their software you actually want to use their version of Cura initially because once you're in their version of Cura that's where there's a setup for the bed level where you can enter in the offset numbers to get the the bed level that leveling and working right. There's a, uh, a video, I believe right here. It's either this one or another one, but I, I think it was this one that talks you all through that in a very laborious way. But it, even being a bad video, it, it has some very important information in it, which is uh, definitely worth watching. So, so far, even though I can't run it because I don't have the control board, I still think it's a very good deal at at the price that I paid because just just from the parts standpoint if I needed a, a 20 amp 12 volt power supply or if I needed those long linear rails or if you needed stepper motors or a hot end or a heated build plate or even in the 2020 extrusions if all that stuff is worth way more than the price that I paid for it and it was delivered in less than two weeks so There'll be another video when the uh, parts that I need to finish this one up arrive or whatever gets sent and we'll see how it actually prints at that point.